Oh my god! Nuclear holocaust on the drones! Hey guys, and welcome to UC Davis Casting. I'm Alpha Ferg, and uh, this is going to be a fun game. Ren sent this to me, better known as Nick Dawes. Um, he's been a pretty active member of the club, and he plays in Platinum, and I believe this is his promotion game where he got into Platinum. So, uh, actually, okay, this isn't Ren. This is Ren, uh, the blue Terran over here. And on the left-hand side is going to be this evil man named Cloak. Ooh, it's Cloak. And it's going to be a TVT on Shakuras Plateau. Um, I don't know who wins. I know who's promoted, but that doesn't necessarily mean you won the game. Uh, often it has more to do with MMR. Um, so interesting, Ren is actually, uh, he knows it's a CVT, and he just is going to wall in, um, or something here on the low ground. And Cloak is going to wall in right around his middle line. So very different play styles, pretty much opposite. You wouldn't want to wall in any further uh, than this. You wouldn't want to, like, wall in way out here or anything like that. Uh, typically you can wall in on the ramp. TVT you don't really need to wall in, you just need to make sure you protect this area. And we'll see what happens. So Cloak putting down a Rax about the same time as Ren. Both players playing at pretty decent uh, platinum level uh, micro, of course. We'll see how that rises as the game moves on. Uh, and Ren's just going to scout out. He knows there's here. It looks like, let's look at what the gas is like. Uh, Cloak is actually going for uh, his first gas, no second gas on the way, which would indicate Cloak, Banshees, uh, holy shit, this Sase versus Chef game. I'm watching another game, the MLG North American qualifiers are going on. I guess they leaked the replays, but I didn't pay attention, so I don't know who wins. Um, but uh, Ren here is going to be doing some nice uh, scouting out. Um, interestingly, it doesn't look like Cloak cares at all about scouting. It looks like only now will he send out his 16 scout. Uh, very late scout. If uh, Ren was doing anything funky, which uh, Cloak wishes he knew, because he definitely is. He's getting a very early command center in TVT. Um, but he is going to have his marine here in time to kill this SCV. Hopefully uh, he manages to micro it correctly to kill the SCV. And Ren does escape with his, with his own. So, it should be okay, both players getting their orbital commands up. Of course, uh, Cloak with the earlier not command center is going to be able to spend money and get that orbital command. Now, Ren is catching up Cloak, scouting the wrong position, and he's going to get here way late. There's already a supply depot. If Ren saw any sort of push coming, uh, second barracks or something like that, he would be able to throw down a bunker here and protect against it pretty well. But instead, it looks like Cloak is going to use a factory... Uh, staying on one gas, so it's not going to be early starport or cloak or anything like that. He's actually getting a lot of money, so he might be trying to fast expand or something like that. He's not really spending much. Uh, he hasn't... Yeah, he's getting a second refinery, but it's nothing too crazy. And now Ren has his command center completed. He'll want to move that down as soon as possible. And it looks like Cloak is just going pretty slow. Going to get siege tanks up really quick, it looks like. Um... And there is the transfer to the low ground for his <laughs> command center. It looks like he's just not even getting gas. Don't need no gas in TVT, says Nick Dawes. Uh, in the meantime, Cloak is totally preparing for an all-in. Uh, I don't know why. He actually never scouted. Wait, what did he scout? Oh, he threw down a scan, it looks like. But he didn't see anything. He only saw two barracks. Wow, that's horrible scouting. Don't ever do that, uh, because no way in hell uh, is... What is this build? He built two marines. He's getting siege, but no siege tanks. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird. He had a lot of money at one point. Finally put down his own command center, but Nick is totally outplaying him right now. He's getting a lot more Marines. He's getting gas finally, so he'll eventually be able to get up to Tech Lab. Uh, might want to throw down more gas. Uh, there's a second one over there in the natural. Um, but Ren is actually going to move out and see what damage he can do. There's the starport finally for Cloak, 
but he needs to build units. He's just, he doesn't have units. He has siege, so uh, this marine push is not going to work at all. Yeah. Um, oh, it's just weird. He's like faking really economic, but he's not going economic. And the fact that there's a siege tank there also means there's no chance of economy. A uh, little slow reaction there. I want to pull those marines away as soon as you see the siege tank fire, but it's going to be a okay. Your economy's doing way better. I mean, look at the SCV count. You're up by five, um, and you're already mining, and you have two orbital commands. Uh, but now Nick has his gas. He's getting a factory. He's getting some of the add-ons to the barracks, which are always good units to have. And, of course, this three bunker wall in case the marines move in uh, which isn't going to happen because he still this hasn't scouted good. jack shit he just scouted two SCV barracks ready. I didn't even know if that saw the gas no well it saw there wasn't gas there we didn't see if there was gas the bridge there well might have been Tim going double NGB I like this you can get lots of the uh, bio upgrades um, and I'm pretty much going to like guess right now he's going to put a starport like immediately as soon as this factory finishes uh, or, you know, as soon as he realizes the factory is finished, uh, he's going to put down a starport, because then you can just pump out medevacs, get a reactor on this thing, and you're good to go. You've got bio. And with five racks, you can definitely do that, especially because he's getting pretty well saturated here, um, and he is going up to his third gas. I don't think you realize he never took that gas there, but that's okay, because he's doing just well, really well. There is the starport, as I predicted, and the reactor. So he'll be able to get a lot of medevacs. He actually has five racks right now, uh, all pumping out marines. Um, and he's definitely going to want to get stim. And I honestly would say, with this many racks at this point in the game, get another tech lab and get combat shields coming up. Because that makes marines so much more effective. You can stim them, and they absorb that health. Um, but here is the first kind of push out by Cloak. He's totally fine in his base, you know. Uh, but he's going to push out with these two medevacs, and they are just going to bum rush around the map, ignoring anything else, and uh, they're going to run into these missile turrets. So it's all going to depend on the angle of attack, and Ren smartly pulling back this, not sure. Uh, ooh, interesting, siege tanks on the low ground. Not quite sure I agree with that, but then again, I'm not perfect. That's okay, and oh my gosh, will he lose? Oh, he lost his first medevac. The second medevac is coming down. There are only three marines down, but Nick is pulling all of his marines back, and if he uh, waits, it looks like Stim is almost done, but he needs to get his army down here. He's losing a lot of SCVs. 13 are dead already. That is a lot. He's moving his marines in the wrong direction. They're taking out... Uh, the siege tank, but they need to focus on these marines, and they're all going to die, especially with the combination of SC siege tank fire. Oh no, Nick is not in good shape. He is way behind in supply. Uh, he has marines here. He's only starting uh, siege for himself now. He doesn't have any tanks on the field, and of course, don't bother microwing when you could kill things. Uh... But he does have a lot of SCVs still up here, so he might not be as behind as he wants to be. He's actually only four SCVs behind. Uh, and, of course, when you run six Marines away from three, that makes sense. Uh, I think Nick should be able to fend off the rest of this attack. He should start getting as many SCVs as he can back in production. He actually is floating a ton of minerals, though. But that's so that's okay. Okay. All right. So it looks like uh, this push is done. He's just going to pick up and run away and now Nick will be able to restabilize with what he has. Let's take a look at the unit count. So the economies are pretty even. Uh, Nick is doing a little bit worse and um, in a position like this definitely get as many SCVs. Feel free to queue if you have 2,000 minerals. That's okay. Uh, throw down more mules if you want to scan you can do that too. Um, but the important thing is to not forget what you're saying which is what I've done. So I'm not sure what I was doing. Um, get SCVs is what you should do. Get lots of SCVs. Uh, and you can see he's already catching up, almost even. That's okay. And he's gonna start pumping out his own units. He's getting combat shields a little bit late. Um, you could be putting lots of add-ons onto these buildings. 
Um, definitely rebuild in case there is another drop or put down some sort of, you know, sensor tower, which is free scouting when there's drops coming. Uh, but Nick's going to do his own drop, and I really like this. So let's take a look at where his economy is, and actually let's take a look at the unit count as Cloak trying to move out. He is way up on Siege Tanks. He has two Vikings, even on Medivacs, but he's down by a lot of Marines, and Siege Tanks without Marines are pretty weak, right, guys? Yep. Um, and in the meantime, Nick has a lot of marines and look at this double drop it's actually getting in there doing a ton of damage a stim he's catching a lot of scvs there's a siege tank though it's gonna start shelling and nick is not gonna have too many uh, marines left if he doesn't do a lot of damage he takes out the first one will he take out the second he does successfully and he's gonna start ravaging this base meanwhile cloak is moving in with his army nick did not have his siege tanks and they are gonna get picked off really quickly um but not without doing a lot of damage there's uh actually a healthy number of marines left uh nick actually building some buildings here on the low ground uh and a proxy uh command center but that's okay because he's not doing anything their micro is way over here trying to focus on taking out his marines in his base uh, and in the meantime here comes the push from cloak does He's queued up a lot of siege tanks, um, which is pretty indicative of an error. Um, and so it's going to be the onus on Nick to fend this off. In the meantime, though, he just has a ton of marines doing damage. There are no marines left. Uh, there's two here, actually. Never mind. Um, and he should be targeting firing these two marines or picking up. But look at all of the SCVs going down. Meantime... Uh, Nick does have this army pushing in with natural, but, ooh, there he does have a siege tank left, and he's gonna try to pick up the siege tanks, not sure that's the greatest decision, uh, should try to take out the marines, because the siege tanks will have to run away, but, I mean, look at this, there's, okay, so Ren finally manages to be pushed out of this base, um, but there isn't many SCVs left, there's only 17 here. Uh, Nick has saved most of his. Of course, they're all gang, you know, hanging out around the minerals. Uh, and he has a successful mining base. Uh, he has this army here, and he might just choose to drop again, which could be a very good decision, especially if he pulls it off. In the meantime, he's floating up. Oh, no, he gets scanned. Uh, so he's not going to try to get away with this command center. Not sure what he wants to do with it. But as long as he holds this ramp, he should be okay. And now he should be ahead. Yeah, it's three tanks to one because uh, Cloak's economy is pretty much out the window. Aside from the fact that he has a ton of money, he doesn't have a factory, which which is pretty bad. So he's going to go double factory, trying to get a third command center up. Um, but Ren is going to be able to get a pretty big army if he remembers to press those buttons. And uh, should be good. Yeah, and these Marines are going to clean this up pretty darn nicely. And Nick is going to be able to get three bases here if, uh, if he elects to. He's pretty high on supply. His uh, second drop is going down here, of course, losing this medevac to a bunker. Uh, there's a lot of Marines here, so these Marines are going to die, but not before doing steady damage. I mean, look at the amount of workers killed. Pretty heady stuff. Viking out here. Uh, so both players have a ton of money. Nick, you should build a lot of stuff, secure this thing, just put down barracks and stuff and secure a third base and prevent drops and you're gonna be okay. In the meantime, it looks like uh, Cloak using this opportunity to get his own bases out and he's actually double expanding right now. Pretty heady stuff and getting up a starport, but he does not have the protection because these buildings aren't done. Uh, and if Nick can take advantage of that, he can get a very nice window where he is just making a lot more units. Uh, he does need to get on gas. He still doesn't have this gas completed. He only has one uh, SCV working there, but he's going to have a ton of minerals. That's a ton of Marines. Uh, just keep on building them. You're going to do okay. Marines are, you know, pretty well regarded as the best tier one unit, especially when they have all those stim, shield, 